main production kitchen, as you say. Now, we work in this kitchen throughout the year. The team then swells to 65 on a match day. So this really becomes the central hub of distribution as much as anything else. So all the planning that we've put in through the winter, it will all come into here and then distribute it out to the 13 satellite kitchens around the ground. And that gives us the flexibility to be able to provide different offers in different parts of the ground at different times of the day. And on a match like today in the test match, how much food is actually produced around this ground? Um, I've never weighed it. Uh, you know, you see statistics from other stadia, 30,000 tonnes of strawberries. Um, all I know is that we've got a fantastic team delivering a fantastic product. And I just come in here a moment ago and it's a bit weird. You come from the, the gorgeous setting of the cricket and then you come into this really busy kitchen. I mean, do you ever have to pinch yourself? I, I've, I've pinched myself every day that I've been here. I've been here nearly five years now and um, I still occasionally flash back to the 85 Ashes uh, series over here as a, as a young boy sneaking out of bed because it's on, it's on at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. To, uh, unknown to my parents and I thought always one day I'd, I'd love to be a guest there or just to watch cricket there but you know cricket for me is, is similar to cooking it's a passion so I feel the same as what I did on day one there's a halo as you walk through those grey skates and obviously some of your colleagues some of the chefs um, they'll, say they'll, they'll be Englishmen and as an Australian what's the banter like at the moment? It sort of goes in roundabouts, um, you know, at times we, we, we can have a good percentage of Aussies in the kitchen and Kiwis and South Africans and then, you know, with the cricket being seasonal, they move on, so sometimes you've sort of got a strong team behind you and, and next it's, it's all on you, but, um, you know, it keeps the kitchen lively and, a bit, and you need a bit of banter when you've got long days. Do you guys react to the sound of the crowd outside and get your timings correct with that kind of thing? Not so much with the, with the crowd roar, and usually, um, you know, we, it, it'll signal a wicket falling. It's more we look for things like rain. Uh, there's a nine wicket rule, usually, that doesn't come into play on day one, but say for day two, that could postpone lunch by half an hour, and that's at the discretion of the umpires. Uh, yeah, but more so rain. So, in, in certain offices around the ground or in kitchens, there are TVs, and we do keep a close eye on the score. Um, you know, things. Things like uh, we get into day four, we don't really prepare for day five, um, but if it goes so far, we have literally a couple of hours to produce menus for many, for many of the areas. I think people come here with different expectations and they're obviously looking for a different experience. We have people coming with their families, enjoying a day out. Some of the guys might be entertaining um, business clients and others might be just coming in for a day out with the boys for a fun day. So we really need to try and cover all of those requirements for the guys, for everybody to visit, visit Lords, to have a fantastic experience.